Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we're going to embark on an examination of some rather obscure paramecias, and we'll be getting the ball rolling with the eternally underestimated Berry Berry No Me. The Berry Berry No Me is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to transform their body into a wide variety of balls, giving the user the appearance of a punnet of berries, which according to the official translation makes the user a grape human. But I feel like ball human is much more fun to say, so that's what we're going to go with. This fruit was consumed by Captain Very Good and first put on very, very brief display during the tail end of the Anisobi arc. This fruit takes its name from the Japanese loan word berry, which is their rather direct way of saying the English word berry, you know, as in fruit berries, which is not to be confused with the currency of the One Piece world, which is also called berries. And as you can probably predict, this resulted in both Viz and Funimation deciding not to throw any curveballs at us this time, but rather keeping the original name of the berry berry fruit. Look, I'm not going to lie, from what we know in the series, there isn't really a whole lot to this fruit. It's quite a simple paramecia, really, with a bit of a quirky ability, and you might write off the ability to become balls of various sizes at first, but this fruit does present some pretty decent potential. For example, by virtue of becoming a ball human, you are more or less completely immune to blunt attacks. If you get punched or struck by some sort of great force, you just burst into balls and take as little damage as possible whilst quietly reforming in a corner somewhere. Or you use your bodily craziness to craft a nice distraction for your opponent who will almost certainly not be able to keep up with all of the balls and then go on to conduct a nice strategic counter strike. Something along those lines. Because really, this fruit is pretty much the exact opposite of the Barra Barra no Mi used by Buggy. So any potential that fruit presented is 100% a possibility with the Berry Berry no Mi, including the chance of fake flight. By which I mean that the user of the Barra Barra no Mi can make any part of their body with the exception of their feet levitate within a certain radius, which from the brief showcase we've seen of the Berry Berry no Mi seems to be the case here as well. As for what that levitation diameter could be, I'd hazard a guess of something like 200 Berry Berry. And also similarly to the Barra Barra no Mi, there is no known limit to how small of a ball the user can turn their various body parts into. And not only that, but there's also no known number of how many of these balls one can split themselves up into at any given time. Although I would assume that the latter fact would depend on the level of the user and their physical and or mental capacity to control however many balls at once. So weirdly enough, with a powerful user, the Berry Berry no Mi would be almost like invoking the power of a ball Logia, you know, mimicking that sort of intangibility effect. But it does hold at least one pretty profound weakness, which is against any sort of cutting attacks, which was demonstrated by Zoro in a filler segment in the Anisobi arc. The precise nature of slicing is not conducive to absorbing attacks via becoming balls, and so the user of the Berry Berry no Mi is much better matched up against combatants like Frankie, who primarily rely on blunt force. And speaking of blunt force, that would be one pretty major advantage, depending on the force at which one was able to project balls at an opponent. Judging from the Barra Barra no Mi, the user should be capable of launching parts of themselves at opponents, and if that user were to say coat their various balls in armor mitaki, then you've got easy access to human cannonballs right there. And that idea minus the haki is probably the best use of the fruit we've seen in the series by very good. At this stage, it should really be noted that he's only appeared twice in the series, one for a very brief conflict with Frankie at any lobby, and once in the CP9 incident report cover story. And I can't really say that either case went very well for him. And I suppose I should go on to point out that very good using his fruit like mini cannonballs was something only shown in the anime. In the manga, he just became balls and that was that, going on to promptly disappear in the chaos of any lobby. So to use the anime original material as a judgment of his full capabilities using the Berry Berry no Mi seems a bit unfair, but at the same time, it's all we've got. And it had him moving quite swiftly, but his balls were nowhere near strong enough to deal any damage to the cyborg body of Frankie whatsoever. And in his second appearance, we didn't really get to see any usage of the fruit, as he was just left in a big pile of balls after being defeated by CP9. So to label him as a good, bad or even very good user of the fruit is a bit difficult at this stage of the series. However, what isn't so difficult is imagining the sheer madness that would be the awakening of the Berry Berry no Mi. And my vision for this would essentially be turning the world around you into a gigantic ball pit. I said this with the Awa Awa no Mi, but any awakened fruit that gives you the potential to make the ground intangible is a pretty fantastic advantage in combat and not to be underestimated. Although even more so in this case, as these balls should be capable of far more devastating damage than bubbles. And should the awakened user be able to control them individually, then that really does present limitless potential for chaos. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a ball human. If you're not keen on the whole combat thing, then this fruit does present you with some other options to make use of yourself. For example, if you or some friends were avid sports players, then you'd never need to buy a soccer, tennis, cricket, or any round style ball ever again. You just need to plonk off a bit of yourself and well, there you go. And this could even apply to more obscure activities like creating a line of pinball machines that all use your balls to play. Or better yet, you could even just become a ball for my border colleague to chase. The options are limitless. Alternatively, you could also use the fruit to break into the cosplay scene. And what I'm thinking is that you split yourself up into seven balls and become the seven dragon balls. Or you could even cosplay as devil fruits in the One Piece world. I mean, imagine that, eating a devil fruit so that you could pretend to be a devil fruit. 
sounds an awful lot like something I'd do, to be honest. So in the end, if you weren't sold on the Berry Berry no Me to begin with, I'm not at all confident that I've been able to change your mind here today. It's tricky Paramecia, but not without potential. And it does come with at least one fantastic ability in regards to blunt force immunity. But where the fruit really suffers is your options in counter-attacking afterwards. I'm sure that a particularly strategic individual would be able to make pretty fantastic use of the fruit just by moving their body parts around like pieces on a chessboard. But the average person would probably be at a bit of a loss of how to make decent use of themselves in most aspects of life, not just combat. And so I do find it quite hard to recommend, but it is certainly not the worst devil fruit we've ever examined, or will ever examine for that matter. And with that, we are going to commit the Berry Berry No Me to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we have another excellently obscure Paramecia for the Encyclopedia, which also happens to be the bane of all swordsmen, the Sabi Sabi No Me. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Berry Berry No Me. This has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time. With his like tight, tight, tight pants and uh, those uh, beach balls. Beach balls, yeah, get it? Beach balls. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Beach, be beach episode. I did it. Yeah, I got the beach episode. I did it. Yeah.